Okay, this is a really nice exercise actually. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to draw a snowflake, but we're going to be using the transform tool over here and the contour tool. So I'm going to start off with my grid lock on by just drawing one arm of a snowflake. So I'm just going to draw a line down here. I'm going to come down, let's go 9, 90 mil. Okay, I'm going to have a line there, and there. Okay, so there's my snowflake arm, for want of a better word. Now, if I just select all of that, and I'm going to group it, and you'll see why later on, but I'm just going to group that. So that makes it one object. So if I just select one line, it will just select the whole lot. So what I want to do now, I want to replicate that and uh, create my snowflake. So I'm going to select my one arm. Uh, I'm going to go to transform, click and hold, and go across to the rotate the selected objects. Okay, and it gives me an option. Um, angle of rotation. Now that depends on how many arms you can have on your snowflake. So I'm going to have, uh, let's have eight. Uh, so a little bit of math involved then. So if I've got eight arms, they need to be 45 degrees apart. I'm going to repeat them. And I've got eight arms. Now I'm not going to change that to eight because I've already got one there. So it's actually eight minus one, which is seven. So I change that to seven. Press OK. I'm going to go back to grid lock. Now it wants me to identify the center of rotation, so that's going to be at the bottom of the arm there. So if I now click on that, how cool is that? Absolutely brilliant. Now I'm going to contour that now, so I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Okay, that's better. Actually, before I contour it, I'm going to do the same as I did before, and I'm going to group it. There we go. We'll see why in a minute. Okay, I'm going to contour now. So I'm going to click on there and it gives me uh, the option to change the contour spacing. It defaults to 5, which means it's always 5. I'm just going to change it to 1. Now I'm also going to change the colour. So I'm going to go for blue. Click on blue. Now if I can choose anywhere on this object and if I just click slightly outside the line, okay, it contours it. If I zoom in, you can see exactly what it's done. Okay, so I've got my black snowflake, which was my original drawing, and now I've contoured it with blue. So I'm just going to delete that middle line now. Now, this is why I've grouped it. So if I just very carefully, so I don't delete the blue, I just click on that, it will delete the whole of it because it's all grouped together. If I was cutting out on the laser, I think perhaps that's a little bit thin. So I'm just going to contour it again, and I can do the same thing. So if I just contour that, and then delete the middle one. There we go, I've just made it a little bit wider. So there's our snowflake using the transform tool and the contour tool. And I've cut a few of these out on the laser cutter out of fluorescent acrylic and hung them on the tree and they look absolutely great.